One of the legacy issues with older analog consoles was the amount of time it took to reset the console between sessions. SSL pioneered and indeed trademarked a system for this called Total Recall. Here you can see a list of any previously saved recall files for this current project. To store the current settings, simply press Store. Basically, we've taken a snapshot of all the console settings, including all the channels and the center section, and stored these values. On the AWS, the onboard TFT screen is used to show a graphical display of the current and stored settings. Let's have a look at the channel stored settings. As you can see, all of the settings are color-coded to their associated control to simplify the recall process. If any of the controls is not set correctly, you can see it highlighted in white. When you move the associated control to the correct value, the colors will match. A really nice recall feature is called Auto Scan. What this does is draw your attention to only those channels that need adjusting. To do this, simply press the Scan switch, and as you can see, the display tells us that channel 24 is not matched. Once you've made the corrections, the recall system will then scan through to the next unmatched control. Once you've completed all the control matching, the Auto Scan will indicate all channels matched. Another real time saver when performing a recall is the ability to reset every channel's soft switch immediately. This will also recall the fader position, which helps quite a bit. The advantage of this method is it leaves only the traditional analog pots to be manually reset. So to conclude, hopefully you can see that working in the analog domain doesn't mean a major interruption to your workflow thanks to SSL's unique total recall system. Any projects and titles and their associated data, such as Total Recall or Automation, are stored locally within the AWS console. For studio session management, an AWS remote browser is supplied that runs on a standard Mac or PC computer using the Ethernet connection. Not only does this browser allow for project backup and transfer, but also provides a number of really useful features. The file system uses a tree structure with the hierarchy being a project, and within that a number of titles, each with their own total recall data and automation mix passes. Here on the Projects tab, you can see on the left-hand side a list of all the projects on this AWS. If we expand the project folder, we can see a list of all titles within that project. And expanding the title shows us both the total recall and automation mix passes. Renaming any of these items is a simple matter of right-clicking with your mouse and selecting Rename. Also, if you wish, you can copy recall and automation data between projects by simply choosing what you wish to copy, and from the right-click, select Copy. Then choose the destination and right-click and select Paste. On the right-hand side of the Projects tab is a helpful Notes area where artist and client details can be entered along with any session notes. Channel labeling of the AWS Virtual Scribble Strip is accomplished via the remote browser too. It's possible to label both the channel input and the monitor return path. In DAW Focus, the Scribble Strip names are pulled from the DAW track names. Simply choose the Channels tab and you will see a graphical layout of the console's virtual scribble strips. Tab, Shift and D the computer arrow keys allow for ease of navigation. A nice benefit here is that if you flip the analog channel between the two paths, the labeling will follow accordingly. Helpfully, this data is saved within the project structure, so it will be recalled when you return to an old session in the future. The Externals tab allows you to rename the external A and B sources that are selectable from the Monitor section, and you can see the results of that labeling here. This relabeling will be remembered even if the console's power is cycled and are not project specific. Of course, even though all the data is stored locally on the console itself, the remote browser allows us to back up or archive our project and its associated titles. As you can see, a simple zip file is created so you can email it, stick it on a USB stick, or whatever your favorite storage medium is. Restoring the project is just a simple matter of selecting the top of the project tree, right-clicking, and choosing Restore Project. Then, simply navigate to your stored project and restore it. So now you've seen how the AWS Remote Browser can simplify your session housekeeping needs and allow you to work freely between projects. So now I hope you'll realise that the AWS is a very powerful music creation tool with a deep feature set combining classic analogue console operation with serious DAW control. For more details, check out solidstatelogic.com.